Good evening, Belmont sports fans, and welcome to the Paul Lyons Court at Winter Field House in beautiful Belmont High School, which is under construction. Uh, we're here for tonight's Middle Sex League contest between the Belmont Girls Varsity Marauder team and the Arlington Girls Varsity Spy Ponders. I'm Chet Messer reporting the game this evening, and with me is Jerry Mick. Jeremy Meserve, who is our sports production director, and we look forward to bringing you tonight's game. I'll make a little promo right at the beginning. If you'd like to join us and help with the production of sports and other uh, games uh, in uh, Belmont, you can contact Jeremy at the Belmont Media Center. So the game is underway. Tap is controlled by Arlington. Arlington is a uh, six, five and two overall, and uh, four and one in the league. Expect this to be a important game for the testing of the Belmont Marauders, who are under a little bit of a disadvantage, possibly because Emma McDevitt, their starting center, is out with a badly sprained ankle, which uh, occurred in the last game during the third period. But Belmont handily beat uh, Stoneham that night. And the ball was lost by Christofori, and it's turned over to the Spy Ponders. Number 13, Conley, is uh, one of the better players for the Arlington Spy Ponders. And then the ball was stolen by Minakazi, drives to the hoop. Goes up and the ball is blocked by number 15, Ewan. A very good play. Took a step from behind her and uh, jumped and knocked the ball back to Arlington, it looks like. <laughs> there is a wide open area in the back and the adjoining court. Out front to Menakazi. Tough defense, good drive to the hoop, and puts it up and good by Moran. Belmont leads to zip. It's interesting, Conley uh, does not have her hair done up into a bun or a pigtail. A jump shot, no good, rebound by Wagner. Head and underneath and grabbed a loose ball picked up by number three, Wicks. And that ball was passionately blocked and picked up by Conley and then by Martin. Good fake, drive to the hoop, no good, and a three pointer by Menopause. Belmont up five zip. Good tough defense by Belmont. Yeah, and then of course he almost steals the ball and it goes out of bounds off of uh, the spy ponders. Good hustle by Minakasi as well as by Wagner coming over to help. Christofori in the corner to Minakasi, fakes back out. Abby <clears throat> Moran takes a three pointer, no good. Well, it's fired ahead and we have a travel call on Number three, Wicks. Shuffled her feet before she put the ball down. Mr. Forey sending everybody back. Says we'll take, I'll take it myself. Very aggressive play and we have a blocking foul on number 15, Ewan. Following to number 15, Claire Ewan, her first personal foul, first team 
Number 22 on the court is uh, um, <clears throat> Kaylee Lyons, who is the granddaughter of the coach Lyons of the Belmont Marauders. Oh, good rebound, and we have a foul on Arlington. Pushed Manikazi. Wagner. And Akazi with the ball, driving to the hoop, pounds it into the corner to Martin, up with the three-pointer, no good. Rebound is grabbed and put up by Wagner with the left hand. Wagner's a left-hander and he's gonna confuse some people out there at times. Had a good play, used the backboard. Drive to the hoop, passed off. Collins put it up, no good. Wagner, I'm sorry. Conley puts it up for a hoop. She is their scorer. Drive to the hoop, back outside. Oh, good. And we have a foul on Martin, who jumped up for the rebound and came down on the back of an Arlington player. It is uh, Belmont's uh, first team foul, first on Martin. Arlington has two team fouls. And good hands uh, by Minakazi, but the ball goes out of bounds. Back to Arlington Spy Ponders. Wicks will put the ball into play to Conley. Tricky dribble by Conley. Didn't produce anything. And a three-pointer from outside, no good. Rebound by Morin. Brings it up court. Passes it to Cristofori in the corner to Martin. Back to Cristofori, saved by Minakazi. Driving to the hoop, gave it up. Back out to Cristofori. Belmont's moving very quickly and very well. The drive to the hoop by Cristofori and Ball now brought down by Lyons. Conley drives in, passes it, interrupted, intercepted by Wagner. Ahead to Martin, who puts it up, no good. Good try. Drive to the hoop and a left-handed turn, and the ball comes outside. The only one up with a three-pointer, no good. Good block out in there. Good block by Wagner. Minakazi drives by, puts it up, no good. They've got a running basketball game here, back and forth. Ball goes in underneath, and it's knocked out of her hands by Cristofori. Belmont's up 7-2 with 2.51 to go. This is as fast as I've seen Belmont play, and it may have something to do with uh, the fact that Arlington is a more competitive team than the ones they've played. Unfortunately, the ball was dribbled off the foot by Wagner and goes out of bounds. Number 21, Michelle Mahoney, replacing number three, Wicks. Reese Chapazian comes in for Martin. Good switch right there. And it's up, no good. Chapazian with the ball, a jump ball. And it will be Belmont's ball. Exchange of possessions. I think that's the first jump ball. And because Arlington won the opening tap, this time I up goes to Belmont. Warren putting the ball into play. Gets it to Minakazi. Minakazi driving down the court. And she goes, tries to go cross court to reach the patient, and the ball goes and is intercepted 
Ball now going into the, oh, close to going into the backcourt. And unfortunately, <clears throat> Morin lost her balance and bang, bumped into the Arlington Spy Ponder. And uh, it's Morin's first foul, the second on the team. We have a substitute for Morin. Kate Reynolds. Almost stolen by <clears throat> Minakazi. Floated in underneath. And a good block by Minakazi. Minakazi denied an easy bucket for the Spy Ponders. Finally drives it around. Nothing productive at the moment. Falls down. Reese picks up the ball. Chapazian. Reese for Chapazian. Back out front to Chapazian. Drive to the hoop. Good defense by the Spy Ponders. Still plenty of time to shoot before. Oh, there was an, a, a pass. Christopher was anticipating that Wagner would break to the hoop. She did not, and the ball went out of bounds. At least that's what I saw. <laughs> good tricky move by number 15, Ewan. No good. Rebound is tied up. Menakazi and Lyons. I'm sorry, Aries Pard. Was underneath. Drive. No good. Rebound is by. And we have a jump ball, and no, we've got to travel. On, called on Minakazi. I don't know why that was a travel in another play, it was not. So. And the ball is going out of bounds. Belmont's ball. Lyons attempted to pass it back to Conley. Chapazian will put the ball into play to Christofori. Like the tempo that Belmont's described. Chapazzi puts up a three, and Chapazian with a three pointer. 10 to 2, Belmont. Conley drives to the hoop and she's fouled. Belmont foul number 34, Katie Reynolds. Her first personal foul. Foul, foul was called on Reynolds. It's her first. Ava Conley at the line, two shots. Conley puts up the first one and it's good. Arlington <laughs> substitution. Number 30, Maria We don't have a number 30 on the roster, but Three-point attempt, it's no good. Rebound by Minakazi, ahead to Chapazian, and time runs out. So Belmont leads 10 to three after one period. A good sign for the Marauders. Well played first period. Really up-tempo, played good defense. I was impressed with Wagner's play, a sub for McDevitt. As I said earlier, Arlington uh, has only has lost two games, one league game and one game 
outside the league. Their only common opponent is Lexington, and Belmont lost to Lexington in the season at Oper 52-43, a game which I did not attend but saw on videotape, and the Belmont team looked very tentative, almost like they were uh, had first game jitters. Arlington beat uh, Lexington 48-42. So based on the comparative scores, uh, it would seem that uh, Lexington uh, or Arlington might uh, be a tough game for Belmont. And I think they have been, but they haven't got any uh, decent shots and they've been very good defense by the Belmont Marauders. Chapazian will put the ball into play to Cristofori. So far they've done a good job. Uh, knock. There's a shot, no good. Rebound by Katie Reynolds and they call her for travel. I believe there was a block involved there, but that was the referee's call. Capazian playing good defense. Drive to the hoop, passes it across, up there and good. Basket by number 30, but we don't have a very name for her on the roster. Capazian with a three pointer, no good. Rebound by Arlington. Arlington. Pitches it ahead to Lyons. Lyons stops, pulls it back outside. To up for a shot. Rebound is rebound in Katie Reynolds and Arlington player are tied up. It'll be Arlington's game. They may be close to five seconds, but they get in just at the last minute. Lyons driving the ball to side court. Passes ahead, and we have a foul on. Number 25 for Belmont, which is Sam Jorgensen. In and out of the hoop. Ewan. Clear Flanagan replaces Lyons. And the second shot is good by Ewan. Christopher Reed. Capazian, Warren takes, puts it up and tries to flip it back to Chapazian and the ball is intercepted. Ball is cross-courted and goes out of bounds. And I apparently knocked it out by Sam Jorgensen. Three-point attempt, no good. Rebound by Sollington. Drive to the hoop, that ball is partially blocked, picked up by Chapazian. Chapazian protects the ball, gets it up court. Chapazian drives, no good. Forey with the ball, drives to the hoop, gets it back to Chapazian. 10 seconds to go on the shot clock. Pitch it up, and oh, it falls out. Good try by Morin. And the ball is tipped. Jorgensen comes back and picks it up, but I believe she's going to be called for a foul on a push. Although I think both team, both players were going for the ball. But Belmont's fourth team foul, so there's no shots involved, but Jorgensen has picked up her second foul. Number 
I'm a little confused now. I don't know why Belmont ended up with the ball. <laughs> Thought the foul was on Belmont. Anyway, fake and a drive. And there's a call for a travel on Morham. Belmont goes into their pressure defense. Makazi. Defense is playing very well. Spending a lot of time dribbling around. And an offensive foul on 12. And an attempt to set a pick. The foul was on Lions. Good try to steal the ball by Chapazian. Morin's flo floating her passes a little bit and allowing the spy pointers to react. Harry's proud returns. Belmont's 15 foul. Get one more before Arlington begins shooting. And we have a foul on Morin reaching in. Her second personal foul. 16 fouls. Mahoney puts in the ball in the play to Conley. A good play by Chapazian, but Spy Ponder has recovered the loose ball. Pass underneath, tapped back by Martin. Manakazi up ahead to Chapazian. Chapazian goes in under the hoop to Martin, no good. Ball is on the ground and being wrestled for, and we have a time. What? Well, yeah. They didn't put the clock up. The travel on Belmont. Belmont's not scored in this period with 4.15 to go. Kiki Christopher. Kiki Christofori replaces uh, <clears throat> Morin. Chapazian, yes, the travel was called on. Chapazian, a drive to the hoop and a rebound up. And it's no good, a rebound by Christofori. Christofori looks under the hoop. It's it back out to Chapazian. Anacosi. Faking a drive, Manikazi takes a jumper from the lane and it's good. First two points of the period for Belmont, but they lead 12-6. Played very good defense in this game. Conley drives, puts up a jumper and it's good. Christopher brings the ball up. Chapazian outside, Mr. Forey, I mean Manikazi drives to the hoop, puts it back out to Martin, across to Chapazian for a three-pointer and it's good. 15-8, Belmont. Wagner playing defense, good job. And the ball is gonna go out of bounds and it'll be Belmont's ball. Dunnigan replaces Christofori. <laughs> Try 
Drive to the hoop by Martin, no good. Rebound is on the ground and wrestled, and it'll be Belmont's ball for a jump ball. Reese Shapazian will put the ball in play. Good hustle by Belmont. I thought Martin had a basket there, but uh, it was deflected. And again, outside. And of course, he fires it in, up and no good. Rebound by the smallest person on the court with a jump ball. And again, I don't, they don't list the, the height of the players, but I'm gonna guess she's not much more than five feet tall. But she's a hustler. I say that from watching her play in prior games. She's very quick. On a cozy, doing a good job. Back outside the Lions. Three-point attempt is around and no good. Bounced up in the air, and we have a foul on. Addie Wagner. Collects her first foul. That's 17 fouls. Bonus situation. Bonus situation, and we will have a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for the Spy Ponders, and I believe. Uh, Lions will be the shooter. As I mentioned earlier in the game, Kaylee Lyons is the granddaughter of Paul Lyons. Coach Lyons court. Back, Wagner grabs the rebound, gets ahead of the Dunnigan. Chapazian. Fake. Anakazi. Drive to the hoop and a pass to Wagner by Manacosi. Doesn't produce anything other than a foul. Invasion <laughs> outside. Crossed and picked up by Dunnigan. Down again in the corner. That's it. Up and no good. Rebound by Dunnigan. And she's called for travel before she released the ball when she tried to pass it cross court. Unfortunately, she didn't dribble. Christofori in and Donahue, number 20, replaces uh, Abby Wagner. Good drive to the hoop by Conley. Makes it 15-10, Belmont. Our school board is connected to the school board of the, in the field house, and it's read first period for a long, period, long time into the second period, but has now been corrected. The Pajan. Got to put it up, no good. Going to go out of bounds, and the clock goes off, meaning Belmont did not get a shot. And there's a question now as to... One second on the clock. They put one second back because the buzzer went off when the ball was out of bounds. So it'll have to be a quick shot by Belmont. And almost, <laughs> oh, and not again, in a tie up <laughs> with Aries Pod, and it will be Belmont's ball. I'm telling you, this Dunnigan girl is uh, a real scrapper for somebody of her size. It's a good three point shooter, too. Drive to the hoop, and we have a Palming of the ball. Heaven, that's the first time I've seen that called all season. <laughs> okay, Conley with the ball. Belmont up by five. 
Good fake and drive to the hoop, and it's up, and it's no good. Rebound by Christofori, and knocked out of bounds by number three, Wicks, and it'll be Belmont's ball. Chapazian comes back, and they'll put the ball into play to Christofori. Christofori going up the court, and, and <laughs> I don't understand that not being called. They called Abby Wagner f earlier for bumping into a player and they called a foul and this one was not a foul. I don't know. So, good steal. Now, and the ball goes off to the right and we have a 15 to 10 mid midway score. A surprisingly low scoring game for two teams that appear to be uh, uh, capable of scoring more. Uh, so we could have a, uh, a 30 to 20 game. That sounds pretty low. Welcome back to Paul Lyons Court at Winter Field House in Belmont High School where the Spy Ponders and the Lady Girls basketball teams are playing this evening. And there's a two pointer by Conley. Apparently she's decided to shoot in the second half, at least based on that play. Okay, Belmont with the ball, they're up by three, 15 to 12. Spy Pond has spent more time dribbling the ball than they did shooting in the first half. Manakazi starts the hoop, thinks better of it. Martin looking underneath, doesn't find anybody. And a Back into the corner, Minakazi with a three-pointer, no good. Spy Ponders with the rebound. Pass the head and drive to the hoop and the Spy Ponders pull within one. But the Spy Ponders played very cautiously in the first half, although they good defense by Belmont. But they passed up a lot of shots. Minakazi drives to the hoop, got to put it up, and she does, and it's in and out. No foul, and a nice move by number three, Quick. And the Spy Ponders are up by one, 16-15, and they steal the inbounds pass, no good. Christophori runs it ahead, drives to the hoop, and she is fouled by Lyons. Oh, they called an offensive foul. <laughs> Rather strange call, I thought. A strange call. I thought for sure the foul would go the other way, but. I'll make sure I take a look at that play. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have an instant replay, but <laughs> someday. Someday the Belmont Media Center will invest in a uh, instant replay. Right, Jeremy? A timeout. One minute left for timeout, according to the referee. Belmont was had 15 to 10 at halftime, but with 6:23 to go in the third period, the Spy Pointers have scored six straight points and now lead 16-15. Came out uh, much more aggressively uh, shooting than they uh, did in the uh, first half. And that ball is stolen by Christofori. Christofori was, had it tapped away, and now it's Conley against one-on-one, -on -one, and she drives to the hoop and puts it up. Goes ahead to Martin and goes out of bounds. Christofori to Martin, a good try, but skipped off her hands. Spy Ponders are up by three. 
with 6.03 to go. They've scored all of the points in this period so far. Eight straight points without Belmont responding. Five seconds. Mr. Forey stayed with the ball for five seconds and the Spy Ponders gave it up. And Frazier repays to Martin. Drive to the hoop. Back outside. No good. Rebound by Frazier. By oh, in and out. Menakazi really hustled. That came up empty. Three pointer from the outside and. The Spy Ponders hustle for the rebound and get it. The walk. Shuffled the feet before she put the ball down. Seems to happen a lot in girls basketball. Don't know why. Morin being pressured by Arlington. Drive to the hoop. Near the corner, no good. Rebound is by the Spy Ponders. Belmont hasn't bought a basket yet. And we're halfway through the third period. Wicks drives to the hoop. And she travels, no basket. She bumped into a Belmont player, which caused her to lose her balance and put her other foot down. <clears throat> so we've used up more than two and a half minutes, and Belmont still hasn't scored. Rishapajan outside. Sit it across to Christopher. Christopher drives to the hoop, puts it up, no good. Rebound by Conley. Ahead to number 15, Ewan. Ewan to Conley. Conley being guarded by <clears throat> Warren. With number 15, Ewan puts a uh, three pointer in. And it's 21-15. Belmont still hasn't scored in this period. Drive to the hoop. And in temp, it's no good. It rebound. Chapazian for a three-pointer. And it's good. It's 21-18. And a good play by Ewan. Chapazian with another three-point attempt. This one is no good. Rebound by Minakazi, and she misses. But Wagner goes up again and again, and she's finally fouled by number 25, I believe. Aries Proud. It's her first personal foul. Two shots for Belmont's and Wagner. Wagner gets two shots. First one is up, nice soft cut, goes in. Some of you younger players, you get rewarded if you get a little backspin on the ball. Abby Wagner for two for her second shot. Nice backspin, bing, drops through. Belmont down by three. Conley being guarded by Morin. Ewing drives no good. Back into the corner. Gaby Lyons and the ball's on the ground and we have a jump ball. And it is Belmont's ball.
Christofori with the ball, being guided by Kaylee Lyons. Christofori drives to the hoop, gives it off to Shapazian. Drive to the hoop by Wagner, uh, by Abby Warren, doesn't get it up high enough. Got to get it up on the backboard. She's trying to, <clears throat> she was trying to steal the ball, but was unsuccessful. Drive to the hoop, and it's around and good by Ewan. Ewan is a very good ball player. She gets up high with the ball, keeps it high. And we have a, <laughs> a no foul. <laughs> I think that should have been a judge on Manikazi, but they haven't been very consistent out here tonight. Chapazian partially blocked. Rebound is bounced around and grabbed by Morin. Back out to Christofori. Christofori fakes, drives. Chapazian drive to the hoop by Morin. Bounces it to Quasi. Puts it up over her head. No good. <laughs> Ball was intercepted, but it put up and in by number 30. A girl with no name. And we have an injury. Time out, I believe. I think Chapazian had a finger in her eye. Placement, or we do. Donegan. Donegan. Medicazi to Christofori. Christofori brings it up. Good defense. Donegan looking underneath, and the ball is tapped away by Ewan. Belmont down by seven with 109 to go in the third period. They had a five point lead at halftime. And then De Wagner puts it up and she's fouled. Good move by Wagner. Foul was on Ewing. It's her first personal foul. No, it's her third personal foul. Two on the team. Dropped by Wagner. Substitutions for Arlington. Number 22, Kaylee Lyons. Number number 25, Eleanor Aries Brock. Second one is up. No go. Rebound is by Arlington's Conley. Drive forces the ball up the court. Looks underneath. Conley comes it around, tries to get into Prod, into Ewan. Prod, Aries Prod out front. Gives it up to number 10. Aries Proud dribbles and loses the ball. A race for the ball, and it's up and no good by Morin. Good rebound. Morin puts it up, and it's good on the second try. And a good, actually a good foul by uh, Christofori because that was an easy layup. And Belmont's drawn within four. But second foul on Christofori. First shot is up and good by Flanagan. Substitutions for Arlington, Diana Wicks. For Belmont, number two, 
Sarah Manganelli. Sarah Manganelli comes in and replaces Donegal. And there's no good rebound by Minakasi. Minakasi pushing the ball up the court. Abby Morin with a two-pointer, no good. Rebound is out of bounds, and they have a foul on number 21. Michelle Mahoney pushing under the hoop. It'll be Belmont's ball. Three teams fouls. Wagner, Christofori. Christofori drives to the hoop, puts it up, and it's good. Belmont draws within three. Shot to end the period by the Spy Pointers goes awry, and we have a 28 25 lead by the Spa Ponders, who scored 18 points in that period to uh, Belmont's uh, 10. So, but they have a uh, only a three point lead because Belmont led at the end of the half 15 to 10. So the math comes out to a three point deficit for Belmont. But Arlington came out and roared off uh, into the third period. I believe they scored eight straight points before Belmont scored at all. So we have ourselves a ball game, and not a, unexpectedly, based on comparative score against Lexington, it would be a good tight game. Wagner's done very well playing in place of uh, McDevitt, but you don't, you like to have some, as many guns as possible. McDevitt is uh, a good, tall, strong player, and hopefully you will be back after a couple of games and some rehab on her left leg. Her left leg, ankle in particular. In particular. Bipondas are putting it into play. Yeah, and a great play by Nina Benakazi. She drives to the hoop and she's grabbed by number three. What was that? <laughs> what did they call it? What did they call? <laughs> what did they call a up and down? Uh, I mean, how can you? Benakazi in, puts it up. And it's no good, rebound by Wagner. And we have a travel, Belmont's ball. <laughs> Wagner puts it up and in, good play by Wagner. Belmont draws within one, it's 28-27. Ball goes down in the corner for the Spy Ponders, but back out to Wicks. Wicks looking, and the ball is passed to number 25, and it goes off her hands, out of bounds. And one referee over, over ruled the others, apparently could see that Belmont tipped the ball, so the Spy Ponders get it back. On the outside, being guided by Morin. Good pick by Ari Prod, but it didn't lead to anything. There's a desperation shot, and they didn't hit the hoop, so it's Belmont's ball on and a shot clock violation. Minakazi driving right towards her defender, driving down towards the hoop, goes up with the one-hander and puts Belmont up by one, 29-28. Tough, tough defense now by Abby Morin. Jump shot is up and good by Conley. Christopher guided by Lyons. Before he gives it into the corner to Magnanelli. Magnanelli. Oh, 
Right to the hoop and a foul on Lyons. Christopher Gepire took a wild shot, but uh, it counted as a. Mustafori puts the first one up and it's good. <laughs> Tied ball game at 30 apiece. Reese Shabazian replaces Magnan Alley. Second one's up, no good. Rebound is on the floor and grabbed by a combination of players, but it was a jump ball and goes over to the Spy Ponders. We have a tie ball game with 6.28 to go in the fourth period. across the sh and, and it's up and it is good. The patient from Manikazi goes and a chance for a three point play. Foul was on number 13 Conley here a second. Reese Chapazian at the foul line puts it up and it's good. Belmont up by three. Belmont went through a dry spell, but now come back. Good passing by the Spy Ponders. And a downtowner is good by number 15 Ewing, who's obviously the leading scorer now for the Spy Ponders. <laughs> I just don't see these plays. I, I don't know what the referee's looking at. But she was pushed from behind as she dribbled into the full court. She ends up with the foul. Ball goes underneath and it's good. Good shot by Ewing, good rebound. Grabbed the ball, went right back up and was fouled by Minakazi. And the Spy Ponders are now up by two. And the second foul shot is good for three points. Good drive to the hoop, but it, and, uh, Belmont's been all season having a trouble with good rebound. Black, and it's up and rebound again. This one is loose. Conley with a shot that's good and the spy ponders are up by five <laughs> I don't understand why number 10 hasn't been tagged with a foul Freeing has been very inconsistent in this game. The Spy Ponders, however, have played very well under the hoop. <laughs> well, the Belmont has missed a number of e easy layups without putting the ball up softly on the backboard. So we got the spy ponders up by five. We have four and a half, four and three quarters minutes to go. So this is a long way to go in this game.
Okay, Belmont comes back out. <clears throat> we have Morin, Minakazi, Wagner, Martin, and Chapazian. Only and Mahoney are in the backcourt. Minakazi drives to the hoop, puts it up, and no. And the ball's thrown ahead to. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't disagree with the Arlington coach. I mean, that was definitely a foul on Belmont, but they have been very inconsistent in this game. Very inconsistent. And then they ultimately call traveling on Arlington. It's not been a good game for the referees. But it is what it is, as they say. And Belmont is down five with 4.30 to go. I think as a uh, team, the uh, spy ponders with Ewing and Conley have two very good shooters. They've bottled up Minakazi, but I thought on a couple of occasions when she dropped to the hoop, she was fouled. So now we. We Shepazian brings the ball up to the court. Minakazi. Takes the drive, puts it up, and it's good by Minakazi. Brings Belmont within one, within five, uh, I'm sorry, within three. Conley starts to drive to the hoop, gives it up. Drive this time by Ewing, giving up. Oh, oh to the person without a, with a name, with a number but no name. Down to six seconds. Jump shot is up and it's going out of bounds and no good. Kemp saved by number 30. Ball is turned over Belmont. Wagner will put the ball into play to either Chapation or to Menakazi. Menakazi bringing the ball up court, forcing the game. Around in the corner. Wagner with the ball tries to put it up. Sit back. Back out to Chapazian. Chapazian in the corner. Underneath to, to Wagner. Martin. Martin goes up and scores. He was fouled. And brings Belmont within one point. Third foul on Conley. 16 fouls. Puts it up and it's good. Tie ball game at 38. They said it with four and a half minutes to go. A long game. Moran, Gaden, Conley. And almost intercepted. Good defense by Morin. Drive to the hoop and she puts it up and it's good by Conley. Good left-handed layup. Used the backboard very well. Menakazi coming down. It's the Chipation in the corner to Morin underneath and we have a foul on number 30. No, we have a blocking. Unbelievable. I never saw that. <clears throat> Called the blocking foul and away, from, which was way away from the ball. And the Shreesh patient cuts in, puts it up, 
And it's no good. Rebound by the Spy Ponders. Belmont has missed a lot of those easy layups. And we have a travel on the Spy Ponders. And we have Belmont's ball with 2.12 to go. Belmont down two. Menikazi brings the ball up, forces the play, drives to the hoop, gets it off to Morin. Morin begins a fake. Morin looks underneath, gives it back to Menikazi. Menikazi stopped by Conley in the corner to Shapazian, back out to Menikazi. Menikazi in and out. Shapazian steps back, puts up a three-pointer, no good. Rebound is by the Spy Ponders, who run back. And a three-point attempt is no good. Capazian with the ball in the corner. Gives it off to Minakazi. Minakazi stops, puts up a two-pointer, no good. Rebound goes out of bounds. And we have a timeout by Arlington with Belmont down 38 to 40. Two point differential with 1.23 to go. Belmont has a little bit of an advantage because there are six fouls on the Spy Ponders and so the next foul on the Spy Ponders will produce a one and one shot for Belmont. Belmont has only five team fouls. So there's a slight advantage for the Marauders. It has been a game as expected, though, a close one. <clears throat> now we have a uh, question at the scorer's table. By the scorer for the Arlington. Checking with the official scorer. I think he was checking on how many timeouts the um, spy pointers had. According to the school board, they have three. I don't know how accurate that is. Okay, Belmont, 118 to go. They're down two. Cause almost had a walk. Drive to the hoop, throws it back out. Conley drives to the hoop, puts up a jumper, and it's good. He's going to be a NAM assistant. She already is. <laughs> Bayesian, Martin thinks about it, changes her mind. And we have a foul on number 30. And we got a one on one shot, I believe. It's one on one. It should be Wagner on the line for one. one. The Coppolis, I think they, they said, is number 30. She's not on the roster that I was given. Conley. Good fighting over the pick by Christopher. Again, and this time she is. Conley pushed Christopher to the ground with her right hand and called a, an offensive foul. And it's the Eighth team foul on 
Belmont timeout. I don't think it was a uh, a hard push, but they called it. But they've been very inconsistent in the game, so I'm not surprised at uh, at what they called. Earlier in the game, Christofori came down the court, was pushed by another player, and they called her for an offensive foul. So I guess it all evens out in the end. But Belmont's down by four with 17.5 seconds to go. So they're going to need a, uh, a three-pointer and a two-pointer to win while holding the spike bonders without a score. So we always have the question when the ball comes back in the bound by Belmont, do you go for the three-pointer or do you go for the two-pointer and come back for the three-pointer later? So Morin will put the ball into play. Okay, we're down to the last few seconds of the game. Morin and then the Ethan Martin back out to Morin. Morin puts up a three-pointer and it's good. Belmont needs to <laughs> And Belmont fouls to uh, get the ball back. They're down two with 4.3 seconds to go. And it'll be a one and one opportunity, I believe. No, it's only their sixth foul. So they need to steal the inbounds play. And we have a foul this time on Morin with 1.8 seconds to go. Conley will be on the line for one and one. Chapazian coming in for Martin. Belmont taking a timeout. Trying to freeze the player. If Conley were to miss this shot, they would have still have, uh, have to get down to the court really fast. If Conley makes the first, she probably would miss the second on purpose and let the clock run out. I believe Conley has scored the last four points for uh, Arlington when they were pressure defensing and she hit two jump shots. But they have two very good ball players in uh, Conley and Ewan. And a pretty decent supporting cast with uh, Wicks. There's the first. So there's a three-point lead. Belmont would have to get the, uh, if she puts the fourth one in, then Belmont needs to have a foul on a three-point. And she beats them both. Belmont takes a timeout. Down four. The only thing now is a uh, pass the whole length of the court, catch it, and throw it up and see if somebody would be called for a foul and make in the three-point play or a four-point play. And that's a call order in girls basketball at the high school level. It's a tall order in any league. <laughs> the pros might, and a really good college basketball team might have a shot at it, but you got to have some height and you have to have execution and it has to be something that you've practiced. 
And not many people, not many teams practice for that kind of a situation. So we have Wagner throwing the ball in. The three point attempt is no good and it bounces out. So Belmont loses by four, 44 40 to the uh, Spy Ponders. The Spy Ponders had only 10 points at halftime, and they came back with 34 in the second half to win the ball game. So we will sign off this evening with again a reminder: if you'd like to help us produce sports programming at the Belmont Media Center, get a hold of Jeremy Meserve at belmontmedia.org, and have a nice evening. <laughs>